Another thing you can use masks for is to create custom wipe effects. Here I have an image of the world map and I have another image of an eye here. And what I would like to do is to make this eye appear gradually from the center of the iris outwards using a radial wipe. While there is a linear gradient wipe built into Watch Out, there is no radial wipe. But using the mask capability, it's pretty easy to, to make one. So what I've done here is that I made just a white blob like the one you see up here. And then I'm just scaling that up. So this is essentially the effect I made by just scaling up the, uh, the image of the white blob over the eye here. Then all I need to do is to enable the masking on the eye. Whoops, should be this one. And turn off the visibility of the blob, which is then only used as a mask. And then I get the effect that I wanted. If you want to have some other shape doing the, uh, uh, the transition here, that's also easy. For example, I have a star shape here. So I just drop that onto the, uh, the mask uh, image and replace that in the queue. And then I have a star-shaped uh, mask, the wipe effect or whatever you would call it. Let's add one more little effect to this just for fun. Uh, let's add a rotation tween to the... Uh, uh, to the star, make it spin a little bit, uh, and then you get something that looks like this. Okay, let's just look at one more example. This has been a uh, radial wipe where the uh, image um, acting as a mask is just scaled up, but of course you can use other kind of, of uh, tween tracks. For example, in this case I have a position tween track that just moves the mask across the image to give this kind of a wipe effect. So hopefully that gives you a couple of ideas of how you can create your own custom wipes using the masking feature of Watch Out.